We're in Japan. Hello. Hey. Imperial Palace grounds versus the city. Giant metal beams for locking it. You gotta match your hedges to your building. It's important. Oh yeah, you know, I see you enjoyed a, a couple plates in a bowl. <laughs> oh. It's needlessly cute, like everything in Japan. Yeah. And matcha beer too. I never thought I'd be in Japan drinking beer and ice cream at the same time. Tampai. And so the trend returns. Surprisingly gelatinous. Look at that cute little puppy. Don't get stuck between the train doors. Next stop, Team Lab Planet. All right, who's gonna say it? Maybe Jingle Guai. Giant barrels of sake? Yes, please. Look at the cute little bus. Isn't it so cute? It is. Next stop, Kanazawa. Time to ride the Shinkansen. You ready to go fast? lit by the old gas lanterns. And there's a mom. Had our sake tasting. Some dried sardines. Some dried, dried squid. squid. Yeah. Some sake. No cameras allowed, but I'm off to the spa in my spa outfit. Breakfast time. We don't know what we're getting, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Pokemon donuts. We're at Kenrokuen, one of the few perfect gardens throughout Japan. Perfect because in every single season they can be enjoyed. It's not just limited to a blooming season in spring or something like that. And the maples are blooming gloriously. Look at that. They set up these structures to protect the trees from snow. Apparently the snow they get here is very, very heavy uh, and would destroy the trees otherwise. So we'll see those all around the park. This is the oldest building in the garden. It's a little tea house from the 1700s. That would be very idyllic. What makes a perfect garden, you ask? Well, there are six characteristics that come in pairs each. You've got watercourses and panoramas. Artifice and antiquity. And serenity and spaciousness. This is one of the entrances to the Kanazawa Castle, which has existed in some iteration since the 1500s. There are these little sprinklers all throughout the city, and they're used to melt off snow. Pumps warm groundwater and that does all the work apparently oh we're here for tempura and beer hi and tea we need your help we need another set of chopsticks to separate this i just gotta eat the whole thing last stop in kanazawa is a tea ceremony He's a pro. I'm practicing. <laughs> Shirakawa go. Yeah. Big Valley, very historic villages. World Heritage sign. That's what Google Translate says, at least. Persimmon tree, and then beautiful landscape. I love the smoke coming out of the chimneys. These are giant wood beams supporting the roof all the way up to the top. It has to be extra strong because of all the snow they get. It's pretty cool. Get ice cream. We're going to get ice cream. Ice cream, ice Soy. cream. We're going Priorities. to get ice cream. Good dental hygiene. After every single time she eats. Every single <laughs> time. Look how straight they are. Can either of you say the village we're in? Let's Not me. See. I know Kura Gasso. Yes. Kuri. Nice. He's got his camera ready to go. The footprint from the goblin jumping mountain to mountain. These little chucks are so cute.
we are in Kyoto now, which above all else has a ton of temples. So I'll try to put the names on here. I'll show you what we saw. Uh, here you go. Hey, where are we? The Inari. Something Inari. Yeah, but there's a word before it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said something Inari. <laughs> it is the <laughs> Fushimi Inari Haisha. And they have words on them, words of wisdom, probably. Okay, look like you're having fun. Oh, how you like having fun? Huh? No fun allowed. I'm picking out my kimono my belt, my accessory, and next I go and get my handbag. <laughs> you can see my, my whole ensemble. Oh, yes. And your man purse. <laughs> Kyoto at night time! Uh -huh. Today we are exploring with Doi Taxi, who we found online. A very, very kind older man who is an expert on Kyoto. So I think we're gonna see a bamboo garden and we'll see what else he shows us. To the bamboo forest. Forest, pretty cool, and now time for some fall foliage. Isn't this great? Yeah. <laughs> Bottom is a house and the water, earth and water, and fire, sun, and the air. Course. And top one is for wind. Five elements. I think wind and the air is the same thing. <laughs> Most of the color changing is coming from maple trees, and apparently Japan has the smallest maple tree leaves in the world. And that's what's giving us all these beautiful colors. Heading in the direction of Tokyo, but it is not time to go home yet. Instead, we're going to Odawara. You ready to be a pirate? Yo ho! Arr, arr.
Hakone is officially our last stop on the trip, uh, so we're finishing it off in a spa resort town, uh, enjoying some hot springs before we say goodbye to Japan. Showering there before you get in. And then it's super warm, and if you want, you can go outside. And look at the trees. After the train station, which then goes to another train station, which then goes to the Odawara train station, which then goes to the Tokyo station, which then goes to the airport train station.